Welcome Exiles. Today I want to talk to you about the next character I'm working on, which solves the problem the last character had. And that's by having obscene amounts of damage to make up for the fact our last character's damage kind of sucked. Um, and I am building around the new jewels for duelists for Forbidden Flame and Flesh called Fatal Flourish. These jewels say your attack skills will repeat, and when they repeat, they'll deal 60% more damage. In most cases, this is literally just equivalent to about 30%-ish more damage, except when you look at something like traps or something like mines. So if I throw a trap out here, you'll notice something that when it hits, it'll do it twice instead of once. And that costs no additional throw time. So for a trapper specifically, or somebody like a miner, this actually equates to about 160% more damage. That means any sort of duelist trapper that's attack based becomes now suddenly very viable slash good because how much this notable can carry the other things i decided to incorporate with this character are obviously the the champion classics like perseverance the belt with armor and evasion scaling our character has about almost 60k armor 70k evasion if i have flasks and molten shell and stuff it goes up closer to 70 80k when we actually have our buffs up which are up most of the time for taking hits and stuff like that so that's pretty cool i like to ideally push this character for i think i can get close to 87 max res at least if i go for melding the flush which i can get to i'm pretty sure i'm only level 89 so i have a lot of extra passives i'll have to work with if i level up some more times uh, the other things this character has going for it is we go ahead and we use gloves that I've decided I really like for, for trappers, which is Slave Driver's Hands. When I read these gloves, and every time my buddy Theros has told me about these gloves, I've never really been convinced of them being really that good of a glove to be worth the glove slot. But after using them, I have to say, yeah, I think he's right. They're pretty freaking good. Uh, not only for making your character throw traps a lot faster, but also just solving mana. Just one fell swoop. You put these gloves on. You don't have to use life tap. You don't have a 300% multiplier. And your mana problems don't exist anymore. They're really, really high quality life. And then things like Adrenaline from Champion give us cast speed, which gives us throw speed. Things like Onslaught from Perseverance because we have Fortify because we're a champion gives us throw speed. Things like, you know, any little bit of cast speed we can get, like, on our helmet gives us throw speed. All that sort of stuff gets, like, a lot of, like, huge quality life bonus. I could even get, like, cast speed on my rings and stuff, but my rings I'm pretty happy with, and I'm not really going to recraft them right now at the time. I'm not planning to. And the skill I chose ended up being Blast Rain. I leveled with Rain of Arrows, which is a lot of fun, but ultimately, after a few short tests, I concluded that Blast Rain is just better. Rain of Arrows is a slight bit better clear-wise, but single target-wise, I think Blast Rain just takes the cake. And I decided to go ahead and get a Blast Rain enchant for additional arrow and uh, roll with it. Originally, I had a Rain of Arrows enchant for the additional sequence, but after playing with the two skills, trying them both out, I'm just convinced Blast Rain is just better uh, significantly. Um, and then we're going for Secrets of Suffering because we decided to craft a tri Ellie Bow. And that way our cold damage, our lightning damage, give us sap and brittle. And then the fire damage plus our anger plus our fizz conversion gives us a really nice scorch on bosses, generally speaking. The fun thing about trapper bows as well that I think is just a cool feature is it doesn't really matter what base you get. The things that you care about aren't attack speed. Um, and if we're getting Secrets of Suffering, we don't really care about crit. We really just care about having some nice flat damage. I originally, when I was trying to make this, I was trying to get a Solar Rainbow, but through the recombination process of trying to hit Trouble uh, Ellie, we destroyed the Solar Rainbow. Luckily, we got an Assassin Bow, which comes with a crit multi-implicit, which is kind of nice as well. And then you can do things like craft for double damage on the suffix or crit multi on the suffix. And you don't care about attack speed. You don't care as much about a lot of the more standard stats you would care about on bows, which I think... A pretty cool feature, pretty interesting thing about playing a trapper is it takes something where normally you care so much about the base attack speed of X weapon you're using and it throws that concept out the window and it gives you here, your base uh, cast speed or whatever with throws is 0.5 cast time or whatever for throws. It's basically like a two attacks per second weapon sort of thing is your baseline for traps. And then you just scale that with trap throw speed, which I think is pretty cool. Now, for the showcase, I have... A Barrow's map with Veritania with gain 40% life 
as extra energy shield. It's like basically just like 40% more HP is what this ends up equating to. And then it has poison and fizz gains extra lightning. I think this should be a decent showcase. And then after that, we will go ahead and we will just run this Elder Slayer's Unidentified for the fun of it, just to see what happens. And that is unidentified with Height of Hubris. So it very well could screw us, but I think it'd be a fun, a fun thing to do for a showcase. I think this character is pretty strong and it can run basically all it can run pretty much all map mods i think the one scenario where this screws us is if it gives us uh less recovery rate and that gets doubled to basically just mean we don't have any recovery rate so i'm just gonna throw myself to death as as i'm spending my life pool to throw traps maybe we'll still be able to do it but we'll see all right so first off let's start off with this very tiny give you an idea of what it looks like while clearing and uh now we'll do the Elder Showcase, the Elder Slayer Showcase. This character is not going to be OP in terms of clear. It's a trapper. Trappers in, in innately have this awkwardness to clear where it's like you kind of have to throw the trap on the enemy and know the trap is going to activate and it's going to kill the enemy and keep walking sort of thing. Normally in your builds, you like you shoot out, you hit the enemy and the enemy dies, right? But trappers are a little bit different in that you do have to throw the trap and then just know it's going to come down and it's going to kill the enemy and move on, right? Get around to crafting some helmet. Oh, snap. Theros. Sorry, I got to go on D&D. I always forget to go on to D&D. I'll message Theros after this video. I'll message him back. Um, but anyways, yeah, you just have to know going into whatever enemies you're running into, whatever you're doing, that you're just going to, the enemy's going to die and you just keep walking, right? Which is a little bit like weirdness of a playstyle thing. A little bit of something you have to get used to more that I'm like learning. But I'm getting there. It still is like basically you throw the trap in the general area and it's going to hit everything in it. The 10 mile radius or whatever it is. I also decided I actually kind of like the animation of Blast Rain. Of just a bunch of things just following, falling from the sky. I think it looks pretty cool. Just, just a rain of death that is being showered on the enemies. Um, now, can we find... I'm going to assume this is the boss room over here. Guess we'll find out if it is or not. So, he's going to run away from me. Okay, so, that's the boss room. And then the other thing I like about trappers is you get to pre-fire them. We can come up here, we can set our traps down, we can set our bear trap, we can set our Arcanist brand, we can get our anger or whatever, and then just activate and erase the boss. Uh, that's that's a fun thing about trappers is just getting to pre-throw traps even without pre-throwing it we'd still kill veritani pr pretty quickly considering it's only i think 15 traps is our maximum that we're pre-throwing the damage for and that takes a very short amount of time to throw that that amount of traps right um so that i think hopefully gives you guys a good idea of what this character looks like while clearing um and let's go ahead and do a uh other slayer showcase and I guess pray we don't get completely screwed by running this on idea. This might, this might just be a terrible idea. Oh, now that I think about it, actually, I should probably spend the points to go get um, this for the extra splinters and the all release, just so that way, if if we get really unlucky with the mods, it will even screw, it'll screw us over even more because because we've allocated the uh, we've allocated the. Uh, the all release just to make it a little bit more likely that we can break this thing. All right, what else do I unspec out of? Don't know what that is. Uh, where's one more point I can spec out of? I'll spec out of this. All right, two points. Boom, boom. All right, go ahead and do this. Just see what we get. I guess I technically didn't collect enough bosses in this region. Wait, are you are you for real? I forgot to witness that with uh, with Maven. Okay, I'm gonna cut to me doing another Maven, and then we're gonna do this fight. Your pain will to to All right. So now we have Maven who witnessed it. So help me if she somehow didn't witness that. Maybe it was too fast for her eyes to catch it. Let's do the uh, let's do the five the uh, the four way unidentified, which I think it still will tell us the mods it has once we enter this. Um, and then we can see how much of a bad mistake we made. Um, what did we get? We got 200 Fizz's Cold. That's pretty deadly. Frenzy's deadly. Impale, I think, is kind of whatever. Uh, Enfeeble, that sucks a little bit. Um, 
All in all, though, this seems just kind of okay. It's, it's basically two bad damage, damage mods. So we just want to kill... I probably just want to kill Drox first, most likely, but Baron's going to be deadly as well. So, um... Bear trap, bear trap. Throw some traps. Do this, do this. I guess maybe I should have just gone for phasing Baron. Because Drox to, appears to have stolen the phase thing. We made mistakes. Alright. Oh! Cool! An exalted orb! I think that's the first time I've ever done a invitation and got an exalt out of it. Uh, that's pretty cool. Okay, well, that is the showcase for what the character looks like. Um, the delay damage, of course, is always going to be awkward with traps and mines. It doesn't have the highest quality of like, like, life like some other builds do, but it, it's just a more of an acquired taste playstyle, and I, I still enjoy traps from time to time, so I like making some builds with it. And this was a stark contrast to the last build we made, which is Juggernaut that did no damage. So to do actual damage is, is a nice change in pace. Ultimately, this character's big cost comes down to uh, Fatal Flourish Jewels. Uh, without these jewels, you know, you cut the damage by like 60% or something like that. It's a significant amount of damage loss. But then you can make up and you can go get jewels with Crit Multi and Life and stuff like that. So maybe it's more of just like a 40% damage loss without these jewels. I'm not sure. When I bought them, they were, I bought them at... This one I bought for 9x and this one for 4x, but for all I know, their prices will go up or they have already gone up. I think somebody was saying in stream that they've already started increasing in prices when we were playing with them last weekend, so I don't know. The rea the situation with uh, those Forbidden Flame and Jump Flush Jewels, they're just a super rare drop because not many people are farming the Uber Uber bosses, and from the Uber Uber bosses... They are a rare drop for Forbidden Flame and Jet Flesh Jewels, so the supply is really low. The second 10 people want to play the build and there's only 5 jewels on the market, you're going to have a problem, right? Uh, and then the other thing is, we got extremely lucky crafting our chest piece. I think this sort of thing is a situation where you probably just go for the Gain Life as ES and the Guatzalese Temple Life mod and you don't go for Global Defense because that adds a ton of cost. And I just got, I YOLO'd a chest piece. I technically YOLO'd two, I, t I did two attempts, but... I got all three prefixes, which was very lucky on my end. Um, so big cost there. Crafting the bow for going for tri elementals. It's just a situation where you keep getting basically bows with T1 elemental, T1 elemental, and then you bench craft the same mod on both to get a two mod bow. And then you do that with another two mod bow, and then you combine those two mod T1 essence or T1. You can do essence or T1 elemental mods, and then combine those for the tri elemental, and then just. Prefixes can't be changed, Veiled Chaos, block the Endurance Charge or Frenzy Charge per damage mod, and try to unveil Double Damage or Crit Multi or Cast Speed, all those are going to be good for you. And then, uh, that's pretty much it. I will leave a, uh, UB for this character, and then expect a final video on this character when I've actually leveled it up past 89, and maybe we'll attempt to get, uh... <laughs> 90 max all res we have enough passes to do it i'm pretty sure to get melding into the build um and that could be pretty cool having a character that well i need to divine some gear to get spell suppress cap i definitely can do it so spell suppress cap 90 all res about 6 to 7k ehp total when we actually level up and get get some more hp passives and then uh yeah i think it all will be a pretty well-rounded character in terms of high damage and high defenses to go with it so this is my champion base chapter. I, I just thought this was a fun build to make and I want to share it with you guys. So hopefully you enjoyed. Take care, Exiles.